last one, we got away from Safehead Guy, and we got Leslie out of that cage, but who knows where he ran off to. I hope he's okay, and I hope he's safe. And here we are, down underneath Brennenberg Castle. <laughs> it honestly really takes me back to Amnesia, this part. It's pretty cool. I like it. Chapter 8, A Planted Seed Will Grow. And that is true. You plant a seed, you keep watering it, nurturing it, it's gonna grow. Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Evil Within, Chapter 8, Part 1. It seems we have put ourselves even deeper into the pits of hell, into this dark nightmare. And we got Demogorgons over there. <laughs> Honestly, these guys at first kind of reminded me of Demogorgons. They look like Demogorgons far away, right? Like it's not just me. Do 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 in a new episode of Stranger Things. <laughs> Hopefully we can find Leslie soon. Kidman, Joseph, anyone. Oh wait. I think I have yes I do. It kind of reminds me of Amnesia too. Sebastian is so strong, it's ridiculous. <laughs> um, sir? Okay. Jeez. What the? What did I just see? Aberrant brainwave patterns observed in subjects number 25 and 33, and now again in 55. The one common factor is a case history of disassociative identity disorder. Previous experiments on the prefrontal cortex led to degradation of sense of self, but there were unanticipated results here. Suicidal thoughts of alternate personalities exhibited as attacks on the core personality. As self-consciousness waned, a sort of stasis was achieved, like two creatures sewn together and forced to live as one, eternally hating the other. Delicious. That is so cruel. That's awful. I wonder what it would take to get him to stop. Oh no, is there gonna be something in the water?
Oh. Okay. I went in too deep and of course it was a trap. Sophia told me to stop so many times, but it was only a little further to the truth. I knew there'd be challenges, but I was so close. I noticed the faintest breeze coming from the crack of this door. This door has to lead outside. This plate I found looks like it fits in the slot. It's probably the key, but which way does it go? Fifty-fifty odds and I've been here pacing for what feels like an eternity, unable to make this simple choice. Sophia, if I make it out of here, I'll hold you in my arms. I'll tell you that you were right, and I'll never let you go. Oh, poor guy. Goodness. The strange plate has faces carved into either side of it. One side has blood streaked across it. Ugh. Leslie? Oh, we're back in Beacon. Slowly push it out of the way. Doc. Doc, what the hell is going on? There's no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Rubik? Rubik? Guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. We need answers. And you need me to help. <sighs> he. We were working on a method. How can I explain this? It's like linking brains together. He was involved. Sharing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything. Directly. It's unprecedented. The implications on psychology, on pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? Yo, I it's trusted you! Idea. Especially not with such a... ...unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. Not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but I'd say he wants us dead. Doctor? Now, I trusted the doctor. I thought that he was protecting Leslie. He was allowing it to happen. We dropped off Lily for her first day at preschool this morning. She's a brave girl. The amount of disappearances here seems to be growing. If we don't get to the bottom of it soon, there won't be anyone left to investigate. They'll all be missing. There's something going on in Crimson City that needs to be stopped, and Myra will help see to that. She's damn good at her job and obviously happy to be back in her element.
Hello? Oh my goodness. Is the nurse here? Um, hello? Did you see that shit? Oh, hi, Rubik. Oh my god. That was amazing. <laughs> Chapter 8 clear. What a wild ride. Short, sweet, and straight to the point. I love that. And we're finally getting some answers. We're finally learning more about Ruvik's experiments and more about the doctor. There's definitely more to him than we think. There's definitely more to this whole situation too. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this episode and stay tuned for chapter nine coming soon. Much love.